Hello again, my name is Chad Jensen. I am an EAA Aviation Services Technical Specialist in the Membership Services Department. I'm also the staff lead on the Xena 750 project, which you can see behind me. This is our uh, summer update, pre-air venture. We're 19 days from convention at this point. And as you can see, the wings are on, they're rigged, the tail is being worked on, uh, we're working on struts tonight. And the goal is at this point to get the airplane ready to roll over to the home builder's hangar so it can be displayed for convention. We're a little bit behind on the project at this point. The goal originally, when we started this project back in September of 2012, was to have the airplane flying by Memorial Day weekend 2013. Well, Christmas schedules got in the way, weather gets nice in Oshkosh, and the crew lightens up a little bit. We still had plenty of help, but we have fallen behind just a little bit. So at this point, the airplane behind me is really coming together nicely, and I'll talk just a little bit about how we've gotten to this point. Building an airplane is a series of little projects coming together to get to something like this. Um, the wings are a separate project, the interior pieces are a separate project, uh, the interior has been basically completely installed except for the seats which are being worked on tonight. Uh, the landing gear is a separate system, the tail is, is a separate build. All of these pieces and parts come together on separate groups. There's several stations that were set up to get those built and over the last few weeks to the, the last month or so we've been working on putting all those pieces together to get to the point where the airplane sits now on its landing gear, wings on and rigged, uh, the slats are on and uh, we'll have this thing ready to roll real, real soon. The airplane that I'm standing in front of right now is EAA Cessna 150. It was used 20 to 25 years ago to develop the STC for auto fuel. Now you may ask why I'm standing in front of this airplane. It's because of this engine. It's the engine we intend to use on the Xena 750. Now it's a historically significant engine, both for aviation and for EAA, but we went through the appropriate uh, channels to get this engine, the use of this engine approved uh, mainly the museum committee and Paul Poberezny. We set forth a uh, project plan and presented that to the museum committee. Paul Poberezny was present. Everybody was, was all in, thought it was a great idea. Two thumbs up from Paul. And uh, we have permission to use this engine on our Xena 750. Now this is an O200A. When we originally started the Xena 750 project, we were planning to build under ELSA rules, which meant that we would have to conform to a factory standard. The two engines that were um, approved for that are the O200D and the Jabiru 3300, neither of which are in EA's inventory, and they're a little bit pricey to come about, so uh, we went looking for other options and decided to build in the standard EAB category. The O200A is about 40 pounds heavier than the O200D, but still fits well within the realm of the Xena 750. Uh, the weight and balance will be just fine. We have to move uh, some things aft just a little bit, like the battery, but um, overall, um, I think it's going to work out just fine. It's a great engine, and uh, the, the fine folks here at the Wee Tanger have gone through it for us to make sure that it runs great and will give us uh, plenty of uh, good use and good times in the future. 19 days to go until AirVenture. We have just a couple of work sessions left. We'll keep working on it, but if you're coming to AirVenture, make sure and stop by the Home Builders Hangar to check out our progress. The airplane will be on display in there all week long. We'll get back to work after your adventure and bring you another video update, possibly with the engine installed at the end of the summer. We'll see you then.